Beyonce. Beyonce. So the Beyonce. the controversy is, despite that she's now like the most winningest Grammy nominee of all time, mm-hmm. it's still because she's never won <clears throat> Album of the Year mm-hmm. because it's inconceivable that maybe other people won Best yeah. Album. Which I actually did my research. Every so she's been nominated four times, lost every time. The people that she lost to were Taylor Swift in 2010. Back in 2015, Adele in 2017, and then Harry Styles this year. Um, all of those make sense to me that they won. Yeah, yeah. It's I not like those are like weird fair. names to win album of the year. 100%. It's, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know, man. Uh, <laughs> the, it got me all fired up when I saw that Rolling Stone article the next morning. It I, was, dude, the, and the, you the, have to subscribe to Rolling Stone to read these articles. Yeah. You can't even just read them. Yeah. So I don't even know what they're saying. Yeah. <laughs> the headline was... Uh, Beyonce has won the most Grammys out of anybody or something, but it's still not good enough. Yep. And, and it was like, what? Uh, I guess the contents of the article was um, she hasn't won album of the year anytime she's been nominated. Yes. She said. Yeah. But like, maybe she just didn't have the best record. Maybe she just didn't have the best record. I don't know, man. I, I think it's okay. <laughs> like she came, she comes out with really great singles and she, she's got some really catchy stuff. I'm not a part of the beehive. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, I'm, uh, fearful for, we should jam. If you post <laughs> this on TikTok and tag Beyonce at all, that the beehive is going to destroy your, your, your channel. <laughs> Dude, like, I, I can also, pre- like, I think also I should just say one, like, yeah, I'm not, like, a Beyonce fan. But also, like, I also don't think that she's, like, not talented or, like, deserving mm. of winning awards. Um, I just think it's the same thing that we said a couple weeks ago with the Junos, where it's just, like, is this an actual, I mean, I think this is also a tight rope to walk us being uh, two white dudes. Yeah. But it, like, becomes an issue of, like, is it is it because she's a black woman? Which I don't really want to comment on, because I think, obviously, there's, there is probably like the way that these things operate in the background i'm sure that there is a an over what's the word i'm looking for here like an over representation of like white dudes yeah, choosing to win these awards is i mean i think too like i would also just like to hope that any kind of award given out for art because it's all kind of stupid is based on like some kind of merit because i don't even know like what is the criteria for any of this shit like who decides what was the best rock song of the year who decides yeah. like all that stuff right <clears throat> i just think it's like not f- even fair to be like she's one of the most grammys out of anybody like clearly like she's obviously like one of the most celebrated artists of all time but she hasn't won this like one specific award therefore like none of it else yeah, none of it matters yeah right yeah and it's just like, like that's she can sweep the grammys and yeah. still like she needs to win album of the year like what next year should we get her to to win album of the year every single award yeah. country album yeah. uh fucking host it as well and then be like okay now it's enough right i don't know like she's an amazing entertainer but if we're talking like songs and actual material and uh like lyrical content and right. like even production i mean like i i listened to renaissance yeah and i still only really like cuff it which is like what i said it's just like a just like a a throwback disco song right about fucking right <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I, I don't know it's, it's, about, it's about getting rowdy and yeah and, and banging i don't right. know like that's that's fun uh and it's fun to have a whole record that takes you through the history of sort of like dance music and that kind of thing that's cool but if you put it up against maybe say an album like um harry's house yeah that one yeah like really introspective record like harry's yeah. talking about a lot of really big uh topics and things to do with him and also the production is really interesting um it's kind of the culmination of like the last like three records that he's done right. uh kind of like gotten better and better and the songwriting has become more like concise and narrowed down into like a really yeah streamlined sort of product where it's solid content really great melodies really great performance and everything i th- i thought it was i definitely thought it was the best record of the year right for sure yeah so like it makes sense that it won against a record that i thought was just kind of like a for fun like yeah let's make a fun dance record. right it's like eh. yeah like it wasn't even supposed to be like record of the year you know what i mean where it's mm-hmm. like is that even why like 
Beyonce's putting stuff like I don't I mean I don't think Harry Styles is writing a record to be like this is going to be a record of the year um, but I think to like values and different purposes right. for music and, and all that right I like you're not going to you're not going to put certain songs on at certain parties because right. it, everybody values different stuff as you know party and pump up music right. and that kind of right. thing it's that's why know, I wasn't allowed the ox chord in high school yeah. <laughs> people would yeah. get upset if I was too close to it yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you get to a little wave that shit you're gonna put on some fucking dark shit yeah, I'm like no but this song does get me pumped up but they're like you're right it makes the rest some, of us sad though put on some fucking creed man <laughs> yeah. that'll get me pumped up dude but like, dude, uh, I looked at who was actually nominated. Kendrick, La- Kendrick Lamar was also nominated, mm-hmm. and I'm not like a huge hip hop guy, so like maybe my like praise or like l- enjoyment of a hip hop album maybe doesn't mean anything. But I actually I'm like a Kendrick Lamar fan, and I thought that record was great. Mm-hmm. So it's like, who's to say? It's like, is she robbed or was she like out of the ten nominees? Was she fucking like actually sixth? You know what I mean? Totally, out of yeah. All these. Like, cause I mean, if we want to like rank all of the people in the best album category yeah. for nominations. Yeah. Like I would still put Kendrick above her. Yeah. And um, maybe not ABBA. Yeah. yeah <laughs> I, thought, I thought that was, that was a fun nomination. I was, I was sure. looking them up the day cause I was like, who was nominated? And I was like, ABBA's in here. Yeah, ABBA. What? Yeah. They got, they got a few. They did. Yeah. That would have been maybe a different conversation. Yeah. To have yeah if, if ABBA, ABBA won. won over all of them, it's like yeah, sure. Jethro let's, Tull let's winning the metal. <laughs> yeah. <the> metal. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a conversation about that for sure. It's so funny. It's like the, a lot of an argument that I noticed in a bunch of these articles I read about that I was actually able to read through a lot of these was like even when Adele won, she said she shouldn't have. I'm like, well, that's just that doesn't mean anything. That's just like artists being humble. Yeah. You know what for I mean? Sure. It's also like Adele probably did love that album. And it's like, oh, I shouldn't have won this. Like she should mm-hmm. have won it. Um, something that you kind of touched on that I, I was debating making this comparison, but maybe you'll just indulge me here a little <laughs> bit um, about Beyonce being a superstar. And I was thinking yep. about this. Just bear with me on this. OK, don't turn off when I say this. I want to compare this to pro wrestling and particularly the wwe okay? oh, i thought i thought you were talking <laughs> no, about no, pro wrestling yeah, the band the band, <laughs> uh, the band. beyonce is like craig and <laughs> so, so with like pro wrestling right like yeah there's a bunch of different like I'm, I'm more so like a wwe fan than like a pro wrestling fan a true pro wrestling fan would be like going to indie shows and they know what's going on in like japan and stuff mm-hmm. i only kind of know that stuff but when you talk about like Mount Rushmore of like pro wrestling there's like two Mount Rushmores there's one that's like the gate Mount Rushmore which is the ones that everybody knows so if I say like Hulk Hogan the Rock Stone Cold John Cena those are all guys that like people that have never even watched wrestling a day in their life are going to know who those people are they're like their personalities more so than like pro wrestling then if you were to make like an actual pro wrestling Mount Rushmore like none of those four guys are going to be on it because they're not actually known for like their talent wrestling right they're known for just being like big personalities yeah and so i was kind of thinking that where i was like beyonce is like undoubtedly one of the if not the biggest superstar yeah in the world for sure doesn't necessarily mean that she's like when it comes like uh when beck beat her a couple like uh, that was like a whole meme going around i think that was one of the first times people were like pointing out like beck plays every single (laughs) instrument on those albums and beyonce it's like Beyonce and a hundred plus collaborators yeah. on a record. Yeah. It's like those are two very different things, mm-hmm. you know. To then so then to just be like, dude, Beck's a guy that plays like an insane amount of instruments, and you're just uh, like minimizing the fact that like. And again, you can play all the instruments you want. It doesn't mes- necessarily mean you have the best record, but it's crazy when it's like. I mean, maybe who is more deserving here? Yeah. Um. And I was watching a video on this today. I, I went really deep in this Beyonce thing, so yeah. I wanted to make sure I had my facts. Um. But this guy actually brought up an interesting point that he thought that um just vocalists don't have like the same amount of respect as somebody that can play like instruments. Mm-hmm. And I thought that was an interesting um little note because Cam and I both know just vocalists, talented people. Um some of which like I, I just I think um where I wanted to go with that was like if you can like just play guitar or whatever, just play piano, like you can still like you have the basics of like songwriting and stuff. Where if like you can just sing a lot of just singers that I know anyway are like incredibly talented people, but then are like handicapped because they like they have to then collaborate with a bunch of people because yeah. they like yeah. don't have the ability to like actually write, sit down and like write yeah. a song. Unless you deep dive on like learning how to play guitar or piano right. and to to a level that will allow you to write this 
quality of songs that you right. want to write as well. Yeah, exactly. Like, that could take a year, two years, whatever. Which yeah, is valuable, but yeah, it's yeah. you got to collaborate. Yeah, for yeah. sure. And I mean, there's nothing wrong with collaborating. We mm-hmm. both played in bands, and like, it, it, it's definitely different to be like, oh, the four of us wrote this song versus, but then it's like presented as like the band wrote it. So then whatever, nobody really. Yeah, <clears throat> that's an eye. And I don't think there's anything wrong with like collaborating. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, Beyonce has like she. There's a lot of samples on this, so that that contributes to the writing or whatever. Mm. I have no problem with samples, but uh, but it's it's it is like to me like a little bit different where it's just like well, if you need like all the hands and then how much is Beyonce? And this is also like it's portrayed when it's like this is Beyonce's album. And it's like, how much work did she do yeah. on this album? Because yeah. she's going up there alone yeah. <laughs> to yeah, accept the award versus when there's like 104 people or whatever credited on, on the album. On the flip side, it, it's it's an impressive work of logistics yeah. to get yeah, that's true. all of those writing sessions together and all that stuff. I think um, I'm, I'm definitely on the side of, you know, maybe keeping the uh the writing pool small and saying like oh yeah beck played all those instruments that that is an achievement a little bit more worthy of say like actually saying this is the best album of the year right even if it's not necessarily the most popular album of the year because if we're talking about the most popular album of the year then this is an entirely different category right then why have the nominees yeah yeah. (laughs) you just it's just numbers best album of the year not like most popular and who has a bigger fan base like it could have you could have like an indie like artist come up and yeah put out a record and you know it's very well received could still be beat out Beyonce right well right but I also think that on the flip side the general public uh totally underestimates the amount of work that goes into number one writing songs but yeah how popular music is written yeah like there's uh any any of your favorite pop songs they're all written in writers' rooms, yeah, with the artist there, or possibly with the artist not there. Right. You know, it's yeah. kind of the same thing as uh, you and Craig were talking about backing tracks right. a while ago. Yeah, people have no idea the world that's happening. Yeah. of live production. Yeah, and uh, backing tracks are all over the place. You think you're going to see a great rock band? They have tracks. Yeah, they got tracks running. Uh, people think, oh yeah, no, like this artist has really great music. This artist has a really great record. Guess what? They had a ton of collaborators whose only job is to write songs Monday to Friday, nine to five in Nashville or LA or New York or something. And like they're, they're coming up with hits. Right. And that is their entire job. And they literally do that like 365 days a year. Um, So yeah, I, I think it's, I think people underestimate that sort of headline. Because oh. that's that's how everything is done too. I mean, that's a huge scale, like a hundred yeah. and whatever yeah. writers and collaborators on a record. Whereas, like some people, some pop artists would maybe have, I don't know, eight, nine, ten, or like up to twenty collaborator co- collaborators on a record. But yeah. I guess when you're the size of Beyonce. <laughs> uh, 140 people on a record isn't that great right and i would be interested like i i also don't want to like short sell her too much i'd be interested to know like what her role in all of that like how many mm-hmm. studio sessions is she just walking into where it's like okay hit record and where the lyrics are i don't know if she she does write the lyrics or whatever yeah um i don't know like what her role in that is she could just be showing up and it's like this is what you're singing she could have a yeah. hand like a major hand in all of yeah, it or maybe somebody has a track and she comes in and she's like okay i'm like a I'm feeling this kind of like yeah. this kind of thing, this kind of melody and like feels it out. And then maybe people write lyrics for her. Maybe right. She's like super involved. Maybe, but yeah, yet again, maybe yeah. she's not involved. Yeah. And it, it could go either. <laughs> Cause again, like I, we both know like just singers that are, that's both true. There's the singers that are like, I need somebody to write me a thing so I can sing on it. And then there, yeah. you know, and then there's other that are like, they want to collaborate and, and do the whole thing. They just like need a guitar player or whatever. Anyway, we don't think she should have won album of the year. And controversial man. But like <laughs> she could release a record of her literally like breathing into the microphone and people yeah. would be like, this is the best thing. Yeah, like, yeah. The queen has spoken again. Yeah, yeah. This is absolutely crazy. Yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. And like, it wouldn't like, it would not phase any of her fan group. No. And that like, 
like I said, you're going to get murdered if you put that in. But like, <laughs> it's the same as like uh, a few years ago, Taylor Swift, they like accidentally released like an interlude that was like yeah. just silence and it got like a million streams. Yeah. Like Spotify. Yeah. Up. Yeah. Cause it's the same thing with Swifties. They're just like, well, she can do no she wrong. Can do no wrong. Yeah. yeah. It's like, okay, maybe, maybe they're, they are not demigods and maybe they are, human. <laughs> yeah. maybe, maybe they are yeah. human. They're capable of putting out bad music or just, or like not even bad, like just music that is like, isn't as good i don't know if i feel that way about anybody now that i think yeah. about it like i'm yeah i except for queens of stone age but i mean besides, <laughs> <laughs> no, besides like, that. i mean if it if it came out that the 1975 was uh problematic in some way right. i would be like damn well honestly kind of made kind of makes sense <laughs> maddie's kind of nuts um, yeah, it kinda, I, I kind of bring this up like every episode because we were talking about morgan whalen a couple weeks yeah. ago uh where i was like i mean josh has done some questionable shit no, nothing <laughs> bad enough yet for me to like write them off but even yeah. if something like horrible came out that would suck and i probably would stop like publicly yeah. praising them but i probably wouldn't stop listening to the music mm. it's just like too ingrained into what yeah i've put like built my life around <laughs> i i just don't think you can honestly say that somebody like beyonce has been like snubbed or f***ed over in like any kind of way yeah. she's one of the biggest pop stars of all time 100%. of all time has one of the most adoring and yeah. absolutely nuts fan bases. Yeah. And she didn't win an award that I bet she can throws in a box when she goes home. Yeah. I just, doubt she's got them on display. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> uh, I mean, yeah. It's, yeah. Well, yeah. Look, literally, she's won the most Grammys. Yeah. yeah. So, like, There's no is, way. She's yeah. got a Grammy wall. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Here's my Grammy room. Do you ever watch the Pearl Jam documentary? No. There's a part in it where uh, Stone Gossard, they're like in his basement or they're like looking for like old shit in his basement and he just goes, oh, there's my Grammy. It's just like, it's just on top of like his water heater. <laughs> I haven't seen that in years. Dude, it's funny. He's like, was oh, it, there it is. Was it for album of the year? Uh, I, <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't know what they were. They probably did win like rock album of the yeah. year or some shit. That's so funny. But yeah, I don't know. Anyway. No, not Beyonce. Beyonce's all right, but she's not album of the year. No, kind of the Grammys. Fuck, I mean, yeah, that's the yeah, thing though. It's like, general, I like, really, I really doubt Beyonce even cares. She's probably just like, dude, this is all good press for her. Yeah, I mean, it's know? either either we care about the Grammys or we don't care about the Grammys. <laughs> yeah. either, you know, like... I just don't like, fa like articles where it's just like trying to like incite some kind of like social issue that I just like, I don't know, I don't think is real or like, it's like, why are we, why are we doing this? Because you're only going to get people being like either like, yeah, everybody fucking is, yeah. you know, misogynistic or whatever. And then you're yeah. going to have everybody else being like, this is why this is why women shouldn't be able to vote. And then you're like, whoa, all right, yo, chill. It's <laughs> yeah. so like we don't need that. Just don't write these articles.